All right, what's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Armand, and we're back with another video. Get in here, get in here. It's time to get into some things, okay? Now, but first, before we get into it, you know we gotta get into the intro. All right? You say that you love me, but I need to prove. And if you don't show me, I'm cutting you loose. How is Armand doing? I'm doing good. Still messy or what? You know the vibes. It's too many options, all begging me what I look like, Tracy. Yo, I'm only talking to Armand. I'm only talking oh. to Armand. Oh. <laughs> okay. That ain't something I do. All right, y'all. So, it's been a lot going on, right? So, apparently, back in July, Megan Thee Stallion and Winnie Harlow got into a fight. Well, at least that's what the girls were suggesting. And more details about the situation have came out, all right? Um, so, apparently... Um, uh, recently, uh, Winnie Harlow and Megan Thee Stallion got into a fight at Mike Rubin's all-white party. Um, but there's more details to the story that came out, all right? Allegedly, all this started because Winnie is Canadian, all right? Now, this comes from Lauren LaRosa. Now, she was the form she was the guest on The Breakfast Club. We love Lauren Hill. Shout out to her. She was the guest host on The Breakfast Club, so she's got... Um, exclusive information on what happened. So allegedly, all this started because Winnie is a can is Canadian and she posted something about Tory Lanez on social media in the midst of the Meg and Tory shooting, okay? Um, the, in, in the midst of the trial. So, which Meg allegedly took issue with, okay? Now, she says what she is being told is... Hold on, let me get it, because I do have it. She says what she is being told. Um, she says, I'm told Winnie's alleged post, I tried to go back and find it and couldn't, wasn't aimed to be against Megan the Stallion at all, but it was perceived that way, okay? Um, when Winnie alleged, allegedly realized the perception of the post, she deleted it. I'm told there was a, also an alleged short convo about the post where Meg at some point actually reached out to Winnie and Winnie apologized. Meg allegedly left Winnie on red and did not respond to the apology. Let me go back to that. So I'm told that Winnie's alleged post wasn't aimed to go to be against Megan the Stallion at all, but was perceived that way. So it looked messy. Now, I'll be honest with you. Here, the word on the curb is a lot of people say that Winnie is a mean girl. She's not very nice. Um, she's not very humble. And she's shady. But people say the same thing about Megan Thee Stallion. So it seems like two shady divas ran into each other. I've heard a lot of nasty things about Winnie ar around the city. And, you know, clearly you've heard a lot of nasty things about Megan Thee Stallion and her character. So... Um, this is interesting. So basically she says, um, it wasn't aimed against Megan Thee Stallion at all, but perceived that way. When Winnie allegedly realized the perception of the post, she deleted it. Okay. I'm told there was an, also an alleged short conversation about the post where Meg at some point reached out to Winnie. So it sounds like Megan Thee Stallion reached out, said, girl, what's the tea? Why would you post that? When he apologized, Meg left it on red and kind of gave like, girl, you're a weirdo, in my opinion. This also feels like this story is definitely coming from Winnie Harlow's side and perspective. Because it's given like, well, she had a problem. I deleted it right away. Um... I reached out. She reached out to me. We talked about it, but then she left me on red. So I don't know what her issue is. That's what it's given. It's given Megan Thee Stallion is panicked. It's given Winnie Harlow is making a statement and reached out. Um, Ruben Party comes. Meg and Winnie allegedly get into a verbal altercation. Um, um, she says, I'm being told that Meg allegedly approached Winnie about the post, but tons of people were, people there broke it up before an actual fight could really happen. Okay. Now, my person who was there alleges Meg was going off and yelling at Winnie. Okay. 
So this person is saying that Megan Thee Stallion was going off, yelling at Winnie. We don't know if Megan Thee Stallion was allegedly drunk or what, or if she was just pissed off and going off, right? And she says, I should beat your ass. Okay? So that apparently is what had happened. Megan Thee Stallion allegedly tells Winnie Harlow, I should beat your mother that. Okay? Now, here's the thing. I feel like people only... In my in my in my history of like beefs and getting offended by things like that and getting to a point where we're gonna go off, there's a couple of things for me. It's either okay, you might have tried me once, and I'm gonna look at you as a weirdo, but I have to look at your track record. So maybe you've tried me once. But who are you connected to? Who are your friends? Because for you to just get that mad and just be ready to beat somebody, A, because they did a post like that, there had to be more leading up to it. So for me, it felt like Megan Thee Stallion, Winnie did something weird. They were cool at one point. Winnie made, uh, Megan, Meg, Winnie made Megan feel like, okay, she's a weirdo. And she felt like she... Megan felt like she kept doing stuff. All right, you're liking Tori. We know you're cool. We know you're a Nicki Minaj fan. Who knows what happened behind the scenes where it just kind of became a domino effect, a weird sh that Megan perceived that Winnie was doing. And then Winnie pretty much was like, well, you know what? It wasn't that weird to me. But in hindsight, she could have been moving weird because her alliances with Nicki or her alliances or her being from Canada or Canada or whatever. She not really liking Megan Thee Stallion like that. We don't know what the conversations behind the scenes were, but to me, for her to be this upset and for them to come to almost blows like that, it clearly shows this has been a buildup of things. And Megan is like, girl, I'm not going to keep letting you play with me. Yeah. Maybe you could have showed support from him because you're from Canada, or whatever, but you knew what you were doing when you did that. And so you're not going to my face and call it rain. You knew what you were doing when you posted that and how you posted that. And if you and 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 you knew what that was gonna be perception wise. You were too calculated in how you moved. So at the end of the day, I feel away. On top of the fact, girl, if I'm looking at your track record, I know who you live for. I know who you're cool with. I don't know, maybe it's that. And I just think, too, we don't know what goes on behind the scenes between girls. These are two girls, uh, like, pretty girls, both arrogant. I'm here. I don't know neither one of them, but I've heard, I've heard a lot of things about Megan Thee Stallion, and I've heard a lot of nasty things about Winnie and her attitude as well. So perhaps, you know, these are two alpha females that's like, girl, I'm not worried about you, and I don't like you. You don't like me. I don't like you. It is what it is. You can't take my man, and you can't take my man. So what's up? You know what I mean? And I'm not no fan of you, and you don't have to be no fan of me. I'm not impressed, and you're not impressed. Next. It's given. It's, that's what it's given. So, um, but, apparently, but apparently there was supposed to be a video. I personally feel like if there was a video, we wouldn't, we, the video would have been out by now. And, we, and that's why I think the person that, that gave the tea that it was a fight, I feel like they were probably putting 10 on 2. Just to try to make it, you know, more zesty and juicy. But apparently, because if they were really in there squabbling, I feel like, and then there was, and you were waiting on a video, I feel like we would have definitely got that video. That video would have been leaked immediately. We wouldn't just be finding out about it now. It, what it gives me is, girl, it was a lot going on. It was loud. And it was a little argument. Probably really quick. It probably wasn't even that big of a deal because why wasn't like if it was like a knockout drag out fight, I feel like we would have known about it. It kind of gave a little bit of a checking. But I feel like for Meg to feel that way, she felt slighted very, very directly. And she felt like Winnie was playing in her face. That's what I feel like. I feel like you only react like that and say, I should beat your mother. Because you feel like a hoe is playing with you. And they've been doing it time and time and time and time and time and time again. Not just because they did something that, you know, perceivably could be a bad thing or maybe, you know, they made a mistake. It was an accident. No, girl, you know what you posted. You know how, why you posted. And you knew what the perception around you posting that was. So for that, I should whip your mother ass. And 
you've probably been doing weird shit. You know what I'm saying? So those are my thoughts on that. Now, people are, are, are over here trying to villainize Megan Thee Stallion and make it seem like she's a problem. But at the end of the day, if these we don't know what happened between them. We don't know what the report was like. And all of us have been in a situation where we felt like, okay, I'll let you make it with that one. I'll let you make it with this one. Now I feel like you're picking at me. And now I've seen you, and we're going we're gonna to get, get into it. So I don't know. Those are my thoughts on that. What are you guys' thoughts? Do you feel like... Um, whose side are you on? Do you feel like you're on Megan Thee Stallion's side? Are you on Winnie's side? Do you think that there's some reconciliation? Neither one of the women have said anything publicly about it. Um, so I think that they've moved on. I, I, again, this was almost four or five months ago. So at the end of the day, things happen. It's been moved on. There was no fight. It was an exchange of words. And it's safe to say that these women aren't friends at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, who gives a Because I don't. All right. Until next time, keep that same energy, and we'll see you soon. Peace out.